Hey guys, here again with another video for Ocean Horn 2 Knights of the Lost Realm here on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, yes, like you saw there, I'm playing other games. Um, let's go ahead and continue where I left off on this last video that I uploaded today. Uh, this is right after that. You can see right here with our character, which uh, of course with his outfit and all that, you can tell that he's similar to certain character. <laughs> um, you know, that's that's the only thing I would have to say about this game. Because, like I said before in my prior video, I really don't care that games are similar to other games. Because every franchise or every you know every game gets gets uh, influenced by other great games, and that's a great thing. Uh, but you know, sometimes you should. Um, Put a little bit more effort and you know like completely change your, the way your character looks <laughs> you know because right now because of the outfit of this guy he just looks like like link you know there's no doubt he's just looks like link so i don't know maybe they should have done a little bit more effort making him look a little bit different but the gameplay itself you know if you like games like this like it's like uh, Zelda, Wind Waker, or Breath of the Wild, games like that. Oh my god, is this, is this thing is gonna kill me or what? Got one bullet left. Barely did any, dam any damage. Yeah. There you go. yeah, I gotta learn how to keep using that damn shield. How do you get in here? I'm sure I can. Falling off. Okay. So, I guess this thing... Okay. Looks like a button. So, oh yeah. Yes, it is. Huh. Now, this I didn't do on my prior game through. Okay, let's see what's this. Huh. Game progress saved. Meet Master Mayfield. Well, that's my main objective. Huh. Okay, so I guess this is like a portal? Like to fast travel to different locations, most likely. And you can see those are locked, most likely because I haven't reached those locations. Okay. Most likely, that's what it is. Okay. That's the first time I've ever gone through that. Because I, I already played this game like almost three hours. And that's the first one I discover. So, of course, we're going to try to go to that location. We have to go. We could keep exploring and finding boxes and all that. But my video would get long as hell. So I'm going to try to go directly or straight to the objectives. Objectives. Okay. Bum, bum. So, uh, yeah, like I said in my prior video, I hope you actually watched this. It was in handheld mode. I always try to upload a video in TV mode if I think the game is totally worth uh, recording in TV mode. Um, most of the times I do do two videos, but last time I didn't do a video, I think it was like a week ago for GI Joe. Yeah, I think that's that game. I was actually gonna do a TV mode gameplay, but I didn't like the way it looked. Like yesterday, that we came I don't know if I actually deleted the video or not, but I really didn't like the way that game looks in TV mode. Maybe I should have uploaded. Master Mayfair closed it in the first place. He's waiting for us inside. Okay, so we're gonna go inside that and we have to solve a puzzle here which is pretty cool because now we have that character right there and now we could tell him to hey press that button or way way on the button and it's pretty cool because um uh, once in a while you're gonna be meeting new people and every time you meet a new people they become like a companion I think I can help and with, with the companions depend what kind of companion is if it's a person if it's a companion that likes to combat you can actually send them to battle for you. 
Hey, dude. He's not pressing the button. Jen. Wait on Jen. the button. Are you serious? Do I have to step on it first? Okay, yeah, most likely I have to press on it first. Okay. Yeah, most likely that's what it is. Come on, let's see. Hey, dude. Jen. Are you serious? No way, it's not Jen. working. It's crashing here on the video. Hey, dude. What the hell? Hello. Jen. Okay, there you go. Okay, maybe I had to choose the... Okay, the only thing I did there was choose again on the circle and choose him. Hmm. Maybe it's because we didn't have control of him yet. Maybe that's why. Okay, so we got those wooden statues. A lot of the things that you collect here are basically going to give you credit instead of saving them to the inventory. There you go. There we go. Okay. Why did he step on the button again? I don't know, but let's get out of here. Okay, so here we are inside of uh, this little dungeon here. And yeah, like I was saying on the first video, um, this game is going for around $26, I think. I did receive a code so I can share a video with you guys. So that's what I'm doing here in this video. Um, I think the normal price is $29.99, which honestly I find a little bit, you know, a little bit expensive considering that this game is on, I believe this game has been for a while available for iOS devices. And right now, iOS has that service, um, Apple Arcade, I think it's called, where you pay like $5 a month and you can play every game that you want on the Apple Arcade. And this is one of those games. This game is actually in the in the collection. There you go. Nice. There you go. Nice. Okay. I better use that shield a little bit more. Which is very crappy. I hope we get a better shield later on. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, this game, I don't know. For me. For me, the ideal price for this game would have been $19.99, in my opinion. But, you know, I'm not the developer or anything like that, so I can't really say that, you know, they have to. But that's my opinion, right? I can share my opinion, so. But, so far, you know, mechanically, I find the game pretty good. And like I said in my first video, I did like Oceanhorn 1. Um, Oceanhorn 1, I remember well, playing it on iOS, I... on Android. But then when I knew it was coming for the, for the PlayStation Vita, I played the hell out of that game on the PlayStation Vita and really, really liked it. It played great okay, well, on the PlayStation Vita. And uh, I think I finished it. I think I actually finished it. At one point, Arcadian soldiers were stationed here, but that was during the Direfolk War, over 20 years ago. Okay, we got to burn that wall. Hey, dude, get closer. There you go. <laughs> Level 3, your knight rank. Okay, so my rank went up. Sit down if I want, but let's go ahead over here. Mm, this is a different one. It says a part of health container. Okay, we're gonna have to burn that one. What the hell was that? Yeah. 
There you go. Now, tomorrow, the game I can't wait to play this week is um, Watch Dogs Legion. Oh, man, I can't wait to play that game. I've been really, really waiting for that game. I, I'm a huge fan of Watch Dogs 2. Love it. Awesome game. But you know what? I'm a little bit worried about this Watch Dogs Legion because i I seen gameplay of it. But the th the fact that you Master don't have a there. main character, it it's what gets me a little bit nervous because you, know, you can recruit a lot of different people to complete missions, mission. but who's you your main character? Your training, son. You know, I don't know. Okay, I skipped the cutscene there a little bit. You have and now we got to another cutscene here. But it wasn't that long ago when we fought in the dire folk war in the Outlands. I was there when the war ended, at the Riskborn Citadel. Inside a dark hall, we saw the creature behind the wall. Mm -hmm. Shadow Maga. Its face was hidden behind a horned mask. My fellow knights, Sir Corbin and I, did not stand a chance against the creature, but a young warlock who was with us possessed the power the of magic. Scene. Even in the heat of the battle, he was able to concentrate <laughs> on a difficult spell go. Your new okay, was we skipped that a cutscene. Yeah. Also, just to prevent spoilers as well, of course. <laughs> uh, make the video a little bit shorter, and uh, yeah, just in case you're interested in playing this game, you know, you don't see the whole thing through. There you go. So, we got a new weapon there, a new pistol, that can actually fire different kind of spells. Now, this one can fire fire. And I believe you do change what it can fire. Okay, we got some bloodstone, which I still don't understand what's this for. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be having maybe not tomorrow because I gotta pick up the I gotta get the game, then I gotta go to work, and when I get, you know, it's gonna be a mess tomorrow. Um, I really hate my uh, my normal job, new shift. Oh man, it pisses me off. It we could reach my it takes away a lot of time from my YouTube videos. So so most likely not tomorrow, but on Friday most likely I'll be uploading video gameplay for Watch Dogs. You know, share my impressions so far about the game, and I really hope I really do like it, man. I hope I really do like it. Because, like I said, I was a fan of part one, which a lot of people didn't like. I was a fan of part one, and I loved part two. And part three, that's the only thing that gets me nervous, is that there's not a real main character so far. Unless, you know, unless that's something that's going to change while we play the game. But that's the only thing that gets me, you know, a little bit nervous there. Uh, we got... When it comes to the Nintendo Switch, here you go. We got something there. Type of small boost. Okay, so this well it gives you a boost, so we can use it for damage. There you go. So here you go. We got all the stuff collected there. Yeah, see, we could go ahead and load a fire spell, heal spell. Okay, we got one of that. And that. We gotta shoot that thing with fire. There you go. There you go. So that's the cool thing about this game. I like those puzzle solving stuff. Reminds me a lot, of course, Zelda games. And that's the beauty thing about this game that, you know, it does get influenced a lot. Almost at the point of ripping off, but <laughs> you know, I it, it has a different story. I and I like it. I don't know, I like it. But of course, the game that I can't wait to play on the Switch is uh, Immortal Rising. Oh my, not, Phoenix Rising. Oh my God, that game looks incredible, and it's gonna be available on the Switch. And uh, if you're asking me, am I gonna get it or not? Hell yes, on day one. Day one, I'll be getting that game. 
and I just can't wait to play it. I played it I like a week ago on the Stadia. The demo that's available, I, I think it's still available. You can still go to Stadia and try it out for free. That game is incredible. That game looks great. Very, very awesome. So, yeah, I can't wait to play that game. Also, we got Hyrule Warrior. It's Calamari, Calamati, something Let's like that. Take a better Coming look out November 20th. House. Also, can't wait to play that game. Looks incredible. If you played, if you played Zelda Breath of the Wild and loved it, I think you have to play this game. So, can't wait to play that game. Coming next month. Okay, we got something there. A ship coming out. Oof. Rough landing there. I knew that airship and its pilot. Take the shortcut behind my hut and hurry. Take the shortcut behind my hut. What shortcut? I don't see no shortcut here. Is it there? Huh. I don't know what shortcut he's talking about. I don't see no damn shortcut here. And we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Okay, because our stamina bar went down. There you go. He can swim. Yes, he can swim, but... Um, if the stamina bar goes down, he dies. Yeah, but at least we come back over here. Huh. What shortcut is he talking about? He said take the shortcut behind my hut or my house. I guess we're gonna have to go the long way. Okay. Well, we just go through here. We could go either way. So yeah, let me know in the comments what game are you really looking forward to play on the Nintendo Switch? Um, like I said, there, considering that we thought it was going to be a very bad year, honestly, it's been, for me, in my opinion, on the Switch, I've been never stopped playing. So I've been able to play a lot of games that I really like on the Switch. And um, and there's still a lot more games I'm looking forward to. You know, like I said, you got Immortal Rising, Phoenix Rising, which looks incredible. And it should have great graphics on the Switch. Uh, that game looks awesome. Yeah, we got the Hyrule Warriors, you know, Calamari, Calamati. That looks great as well. It looks amazing. We got coming next year, Monster Hunter Rising looks unbelievable. That game looks incredible as well. So, you know, we still have a lot of great games here for the Nintendo Switch. And by the way, what happened to Pokemon Snapshot? It was a Snapshot or something like that? Uh oh, okay, here we got the girl. See what I'm saying? It's okay. We didn't need that shortcut. Whatever shortcut that old man was talking about. <laughs> okay, come on, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a second, there's a chest over there. Treasure chest. So yeah, that's one thing that I like about this game. It's so cool, so open. You know, it has a lot of treasure chests you can find and discover around the world. Um, it's Yes, it's similar to Wind Waker or Breath of the Wild. I would say more similar to Wind Waker. Uh, but, oh, no rounds. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. And I think, honestly, it looks nice here in TV mode. In portable mode, it, for me, it looks even better. Hey, girl. Hey, why did you interfere? Trend. I was having a nice streak. Okay, I'm a knight. An old man do told me that. Do you need other people to tell you what to do? Um, I am Trick. Excuse me, girl. I just saved your life. I can't believe what those <laughs> bolt heads did to my yellow bird. Hey, you came from Arna Village, right? Yeah. I desperately need to find Master Mayfair. Oh, we know do him. You know his whereabouts? Follow me, I'll take Can you. Take well, well, not really. Okay. Well, okay. I hope you know the way. Okay, guys. So this video is getting long. So now she is part of our team now. 
Yep. So we set Chick C there. We see that where she's part in our team. And I can also give her commands. So well, that's great. But, you know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. And I hope you actually watch my first hands-on video of this game playing in handheld mode. Which actually looks really damn good. Like I said, this game looks good either mode. Handheld or TV mode looks good either way. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to play this game or not. So are you going to wait for it to go down in price? Uh, let me know. So far, I am liking it. And of course, next week I'm going to have another great game for the Nintendo Switch. Which I've been playing a lot. And, you know, because of NDA, I can't say which game it is. But I, I hope you guys have a, a good idea which one is it. But I've been loving it. That's all I gotta say. I've been loving that game. I got addicted to the game. And it's coming out next week. And I can't say the title of the game right now. But yeah. Just pay attention to my channel. Subscribe. Ring that bell. And uh, yeah. I'll be uploading that video next oh, no. week. I don't know if I can even say the date of the game. But... I gotta say that I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And I got addicted to it. So. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think about Ocean Horn 2 on the Nintendo Switch, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.